Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're gonna look at an interesting math word problem. And I would say this is a little bit challenging, but it's certainly interesting. Uh, and of course, that's all relative. Some of you out there might see, think this is like the hardest problem in the world. Others of you might be saying, oh, this is pretty easy. But here's the deal, okay? I'm gonna read you the problem in just one second. Don't be afraid of the problem, no matter what you think. You should always attempt to, uh, to try to solve any problem you encounter. One of the worst habits you can get into if you are uh, trying to learn mathematics is to uh, quit without even first trying, okay? So it doesn't help to at least think about the problem and think about mm, how can you kind of reason through it and uh, again, there's multiple different ways to solve any problem, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. Let me go ahead and scroll down here so we can see the entire thing. Okay, so here it is. It says uh, one fourth of the air in a tank is removed with each stroke. Okay, and I'll explain this in a second. Each stroke of a pump is what we're talking about. I'm trying to squeeze in this problem in a short little space. What percent of the original amount remains after eight strokes? Okay, so we have a pump uh, each time uh, there's a stroke of that pump, one-fourth of the air in the tank is removed. Uh, what percent of the original amount remains after eight strokes? So, of course, this is a problem you're going to uh, definitely want to think about. Now, if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second, and then we're going to discuss how uh, to solve this problem. Again, there's not, only, there's not just one approach to solve this problem, but I'm going to show you how we're going to use some algebra to figure this out. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out or if you find it just tremendously exciting, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so I'll read the problem here again in just one second. I think you've pretty much, uh, you know, seen it. But basically, we're looking for what percent of the original air in that tank, right? What amount remains after eight strokes of this uh, pump? Well, the answer is approximately 10%. So that is the answer. Now, if you got this right all on your own, well, let me go ahead and give you a nice happy face. I don't usually dish out A++ pluses, but I'm gonna give you an A++. Matter of fact, I think I wanna give you like 200%. And matter of fact, if you were in my math class, I would just tell you, you know what, just take the rest of the year off. Uh, you know, I don't know how you got so good at math. Maybe you're watching that guy on YouTube, I'm not sure. But just take it, uh, take the, you know, go do whatever you wanna do, I'll see you next year. You clearly know what you're doing. Anyways, nice job. Matter of fact, we'll throw in a few stars, too, so you can tell your friends and family that you are a math genius. Now, I don't want to kind of overdo it, right? This is kind of called grade inflation, but uh, but I am very sincere. If you, if you got this problem correct, that's a nice job, okay? Now, if you're like, I'm totally confused or I got an answer, but it's not this answer, well, don't, you know, feel bad because maybe you were on the right track, okay? We just don't know. Let's go ahead and take a look at the actual solution right now. Okay, so this is one of these type of problems that you're really going to have to think about and understand kind of the mechanics of what's going on. So here is this problem, and I'm kind of kind of ab lib the problem. In other words, I'm going to kind of uh, uh, clarify it here because you know I try to squeeze in these word problems. Uh, I try to make them short, but let me just kind of uh, make sure you fully understand what's going on. So one fourth of the air in a tank is removed with each stroke. And a, uh, we're talking about a stroke of a, a pump. So you can kind of think of it like uh, like a piston, if you're not familiar with how a car works. Here is a cylinder, excuse me, and this is like a little piston inside the car. So this thing goes up and down, right? So like an air compressor, this thing goes up and it goes down, right? So it's pushing up air, or it could be drawing in air. So like a vacuum pump, it's actually, you know, as this thing, imagine this is a cylinder, this thing is going up. If it's going up, it's compressing air. And if it's going down, it can actually be pulling air out, right? So we're sucking air out. So that's kind of the visual situation, just in case you weren't too familiar with pumps and vacuum pumps of the sort. Not too difficult, but uh, basically, if that confused you, well, I'm trying to unconfuse you so you have a clear picture of what's going on. So one fourth of the air in a tank is removed with each stroke. Now, before we continue any further here, 
I'm just going to just remind you about the rule of three. When it comes to word problems, you know, you don't just read the problem once and then start doing stuff. Read the problem once, really get a sense of what's going on. Read it again, pull more detail. And the, the third time, make sure you understand the question. So that's a minimum amount. But typically, you're going to have to read a problem like this even more so you can fully understand the picture. All right, so one-fourth of the air in a tank is removed with each stroke. So you know, as I pull this, let's say, uh, as this piston, the stroke goes down, one fourth of the air is coming out. Okay. Now what we want to know is what percent of the original amount remains after eight strokes. All right. So here this pump uh, on its uh, first stroke pulled out one fourth of the air. So now there's going to be some air remaining right, uh, in here. All right. And then this pump is going to uh, pump again, all right, and another, in other words, we're going to have another stroke, and it's going to pull out one-fourth of what remains, okay? So the question, again, is how much of the original amount remains after eight strokes? All right, so hopefully I gave you a pretty good visual understanding of what's going on. Now, at this point, what you're going to want to do is model this situation, and this is where it gets kind of very um, creative, okay, in terms of, hey, the way a student can model it could be one way, and another student can model this a different way. It doesn't really make a difference as long as you understand it, and let's say somebody who's reading your work understands it as well, someone like your teacher, right? It's got to be a logical kind of uh, structure, um, a logical kind of model of, you know, that represents the problem, okay? So again, I'm going to show you the way I'm um, going to set this up. So let's go ahead and take a look at something like this, all right? Now let me just kind of erase this. Being that I kind of explained to you what a pump or like a vacuum pump might look like. So I'm going to show you this right here. Now some of you are like, oh my goodness, this looks complicated. Well, again, you have to think about the problem, right? You have to have a very, very good idea on what's going on and what the question's asking. So we have this pump. There's going to be multiple strokes, multiple iterations of this pump going up and down, okay, up and down this uh, the strokes of this this pump. Now, of course, it does you know help if you maybe you've seen how a pump works, I guess, you kind of visualize it better. But here is our tank, right? So here's our full tank uh, right here. Let's kind of represent it by this little rectangle. I'm going to put T in there. That represents a full amount that's in this tank. Okay. Now I know that for every stroke of that pump, one fourth is going to come out of that tank. Okay. So how much remains? If I pull out one fourth, how much of that of that tank remains? All right. Now, hopefully, you'd be like, well, you know, three fourths remains, right? Uh, and if you said three fourths, well, you would be absolutely correct. Uh, three fourths of the tank remains uh, because one fourth was pulled out. All right. Now, hopefully, you understand that. So, what we need is some sort of model. Now, you uh, you got to basically take a visual model. And now construct a kind of a mathematical model. So on um, stroke one, okay, we're going to have three fourths remaining of what was in the, the what was started off in our original tank. Okay, so that's going to be three fourths times t. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. All right, so let's go ahead and proceed on to our second stroke. Okay. So our second stroke is going to be what? Well, what's in the tank right here, right? Well, it's going to be less, one-fourth less than the original amount, okay, which, of course, is three-fourths T. That's what's in this tank right here, okay? So on the second stroke, what happens? Well, for each stroke, remember, in the problem it says one-fourth of the air in the tank is removed with each stroke, okay? So now we're like, oh, okay, what's going on here? Well, on the second stroke, it's going to remove one-fourth of this amount, okay, which is what? Three-fourths T, okay? So how much is that? Well, that's going to be three-fourths of this amount, which, of course, is three-fourths T, okay? So hopefully you can kind of see mathematically what's going on. That's how much going to, that's, as, uh, this is how much is going to be in this tank at this point, right? So you're like, oh, okay, I get it. So now, what are we trying to do? 
Well, we're trying to construct a pattern. We're looking for patterns, okay? We're looking for mathematical models, mathematical patterns that we can figure this thing out. Well, let's take a look at another stroke. Let's look at stroke three. We're like, okay, let's see if we have the right idea. So uh, stroke three is going to take what? It's going to take another one-fourth air out of what amount? Of this amount. So it's going to take three-fourths of this amount. And what is this amount? Well, this amount is three times three over four times four or nine sixteenths. But really what's going on here, if we kind of uh, uh, take a look at this from mathematical standpoint, we are dealing with a um, sequence, right? So we, this three fourths is in common. And if we uh, look, if we let T equal the number of strokes, our first uh, term, our first number in our sequence is what? Well, if T is equal to one, Okay, t is equal to 1, so that would be 3 fourths to the first, so that would be 3 fourths. Okay, how about our second stroke? Well, that would be t is equal to 2, so that would be uh, 3 fourths times uh, 3 fourths squared, which would be 3 fourths times 3 fourths. Okay, how about t is equal to 3? On our third stroke, that's going to be 3 fourths times itself 3 times, or 3 fourths cubed. Okay, and that's what this is right here. This is 3 fourths times itself three times okay so here we're like oh okay i see a pattern and we need a model okay because even though we're going up to stroke eight on this what if i said what about stroke 17 all right that would be in other words uh you could just you know by brute force you know in your calculator just work through these numbers of course you don't have an original amount you could uh, make up an, an original amount, maybe call it 100, and just work through these numbers, but that's not the way we want to do this problem. So what we want is a model. So if we let T equal the number of strokes, okay, this pump takes, we can write a model 3 fourths to the T power, okay? So on the first stroke, again, 3 fourths when T is 1. On the first stroke, that's going to be 3 fourths remaining. On the second stroke, okay, T is 2. That's 3 fourths squared. That's how much will be remaining, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at what would it uh, be on the eighth stroke. So this would be 3 fourths to the eighth power, okay? Of course, 8 represents 8 strokes in this particular model, and that's going to be uh, equal to 0 .10, uh, 0 0.10011. There's some additional decimals, but uh, we'll just kind of round off. So how do we change that decimal to a percent? Easy, just multiply by 100 or move that decimal point over two places to the right and we get 10.11% 10 point, uh, 10 uh, uh, so we'll just kind of round it off to 10%. Okay, so, you know, again, you know, this type of problem, you are kind of dealing with sequences. And the main idea here is, you know, when you face a problem, you know, in mathematics or maybe science class, you really have to read that problem. Don't start doing anything until you have a full picture, you know, of what's going on. Now, if you don't understand a concept, let's say like a pump or maybe how a pump works and whatnot, try to get clarification on it. You know, if this is like a test or a quiz or something, listen, it never, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with you raising your hand, asking for help. Your teacher will let you know if it's like a test or a quiz. They'll say, hey, I can't answer that question for you, right? Uh, but, you know, you should still always ask questions. That is the key, okay? If you don't know something, raise your hand. If not, you're always just going to be there wondering, what does that mean? What does this mean? Now, of course, when you're practicing mathematics or you're learning mathematics, don't understand something definitely ask questions. That is the key to learning. Okay, so hopefully this video was exciting and interesting and it helped you out. If that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.